Uh, are they favorites, Natum, England, would you say? Uh, unfortunately, I wouldn't say that no, because I think even entering the tournament of the teams involved, they're ranked sixth out of everybody else. I think you're talking about uh, Sweden, the Netherlands, there's Germany, there's Spain, and I'm forgetting another nation. So, you know, at the end of the day, you can see these odds and the home crowd might make a difference, but it's going to be very, very competitive. The margins are going to be so small. And you just hope that for England's sake, it's not going to come down to, say, past experiences and knowing how to get over the line. They want to almost have this as a new experience. As, as Lucy Brown said earlier, to be playing in front of your home crowd, the excitement of seeing those people you recognize, seeing the impact that it has within the nation as well. Hopefully for them, that will be something that gets them across the line because their path to the final, I think as we can see from their group, they should be able to navigate that okay. But then if everything goes according to plan in the other groups, you're facing either Spain or Germany in the quarterfinal. So things will really ramp up very quickly for them. But they have to believe they can do it because they've got some of the best players in the world. Would you peg them as favorites, Alexis? Uh, I'm definitely going to go for the diplomatic answer that Nedum went for there. And I'm going it's, it's really hard to count out um, the likes of Sweden as well, who know exactly what it's like to win on this big stage. And Spain, there's a lot of excitement, Christina, as you would know, surrounding a lot of the, um, the Spanish players as well. Um, you know, football, I suppose, in the local scene in terms of in Spain, we just saw a sold out uh, El Clasico recently. I think it definitely has uh, followed this Spanish national side into this tournament. So it's going to be difficult to cancel them out but you know what I think sir, some stars are aligning and if I did have to choose a favor right now based on what I've seen I I talk a lot about Liverpool the men's team and about the harmony and the friendship and the brotherhood that they seem to have and how that has almost translated into so much success on the highest stage and I saw that I've seen that with this Lionesses team it finally seems like they've got a lot of missing parts together they've gotten this coach that knows exactly what it is to win this very competition they've got the right support from the fans I know Nadam can definitely back me up and say that the the tabloids here the media the British media can be very tough on their very <laughs> own sports stars but I think now I think it's the right type of positive support surrounding this Lionesses team so you know what I'll put my neck out there because Nadam likes to sit on a fence and I'll say why not England favorites all right <laughs> all right I, I like it Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.